sort of ground up at the There's something magical about heading out in the light just before dawn when you're in a small boat in a big sea. And it's even more magical when you're out there to catch your breakfast. Oh, look at that. And I have caught something. You're in. It's a kid, it's that's like their first fish, I'll remember it. Forever. I am honoured. This was swimming around <laughs> two hours ago, just thinking, I wonder what's going to happen today. It's beautifully presented, isn't it? The first bite is with the eye. Morning, what a lovely morning. morning. Yeah, cheers. One of the things that dawns on you here as you move through the landscape is that the place, the people, and the produce are all intertwined, they're inextricably linked. Here in this part of the world, salmon really is the king of fish. It's a very prestigious fish. It features a lot in Celtic mythology and that this whole landscape is steeped in that. We wanted to capture very much the essence, the smells, the aromas, the taste of, of Redemna State in our gin. We actually start with our number one resource and that's water and we're quite lucky that we sit above an aquifer that cuts through the estate so we draw our water from about 70 meters or 200 feet below the surface so it's pure mineral rich crystal clear water that's absolutely perfect for distilling with. Food here is no longer a hidden treasure. It's openly celebrated. Entering St George's Market, it's an audio sensory overload. There's the sights, there's the smells, there's the sounds, there's the bustle and the clamor of the market. And of course, a kaleidoscope of extraordinary food. It's a real celebration of Northern Irish cuisine. Oh, delicious. Yeah, change your life. 24 hour marinade, just fall to the bone nerd. Yeah. Test yourself, try the unusual, and celebrate one of the world's great food cultures. It doesn't stop there. When the sun goes down, that's when Belfast really comes to life.